So right now we are driving the Chinook for the very first time. We just got it to start. We've never driven it before. <laughs> so Adam's gonna drive it and I'm gonna follow behind him to make sure we get it to the shop okay. I really hope we get there. Uh, honestly, a little worried. We'll see how this goes. This is gonna be a nice quiet ride. There it is. I can't see anything, so I'm just gonna send it here. Hopefully nobody's coming. All right. See you at the shop. Here we go. Chinook's driving great. So far, so good. It's a little loud and a little horrifying going over 45 at the moment. I'm not gonna lie. Driving a uh, 43 year old camper with no front suspension down a mountain. gonna make it. I know. Oh! Oh! Okay. I hope I didn't pop a tire. I don't think I popped a tire. Well, I don't have a spare, so hopefully, I really hope I didn't pop it, but we're still going, so a couple more minutes, we can do it. Come on, baby. We made it here with no issue. All right, going in the shop. Also, my brother's blacksmith studio. All right, show us what you got. Well, this is my woodworking side. Chop saw, band saw, drill press. So here's my forge. Oh, wow. Three burner propane forge. This anvil is from the 1890s. Oh, wow. It's a hay button anvil, which is an extremely nice one. This is my giant leg vise. Oh, it's awesome. Probably also from about the same time as this anvil. Over 100 years old. But yeah, it's my shop. I get stuff done here. Today we're gonna be sanding the outside of this bad boy. Getting it ready for paint. We're gonna eventually put some fiberglass and Bondo and whatever on here up here too, that needs a little love. We're gonna try to get as much done as we can here. So we better get to it. <laughs>
working on getting the paint off, the blue stripe and the red stripe. And underneath, it looks like it used to be yellow and like a maroon brown color, the original. Yeah, got a lot more to go. It's done. Oh, my gosh. Good. <laughs> Got a lot more to do. Yeah, we do. It's gonna take days. Days. 